Support by the Hope Network Center for Autism. You can join us and be part of a mission that takes on the challenges, the barriers, the statistics, the seemingly impossible, and help us overcome them all. HopeNetwork.org slash autism. Move, move now. Everybody get your clothes off. Oftentimes when people come in, especially for the very first time, you're on an emotional roller coaster. I'm going to Durango. It's even scarier than this place. This is quite possibly the worst day of their life. You don't understand what it's like here, Mom. I need to get out of here. Hello? Hello? Mom. They don't necessarily know what to expect from one day to the next. Well, no, you're going to get a take it. He's five right here. Especially their first week in. Well, my best friends always told me you're in a dead or in prison, and I just blew them off, and you know, I ain't going. I guess he won that one. cell this morning. It was fabulous. All right. That's a very good morning right there. Yeah. Just a little nervous. I'm mostly worried about my cousin and my girlfriend and whether or not I'm going to be able to get out of here and go see them. Your bail's 50000 Yes, sir. You know, go ahead and sign right here. That's your charges right there. This is my charges? Yeah. Right there, man. Oh. Domestic violence and uh, yep. vandalism. Yep. Felony. Yeah, and vandalism. This man. Domestic violence can either be a felony or a misdemeanor charge. What would make it a felony is if there's visible marks. Bruising, a black eye, cuts. So it worries me a lot. And I don't remember the night, so I don't know what happened. And it sucks. <laughs> Starting to make your bed, huh? Yeah. Feeling like you come down yet? Yeah. Stop yeah. Right there. Think you need to see medical or something? No. All right, go ahead and step in here for real quick. I had a great life. I had a great job, great family. I was engaged when I wasn't using. And then these past two and a half, three years just been the worst. I've lost everything. Everything in my life. marks here are all old. These, you see all these little marks right here on my hand? I mean, you can't see any veins in my arms or hands. See, these marks, all these right here, these are all old. These, all these ones, are all new. All the way up here, on this leg, down this leg here, all my whole legs, everything. Those are the new ones. 
It's pretty bad addiction. I don't even get high anymore. I just do it so I can feel normal. I'm starting to get withdrawals and it's starting to take effect now since I haven't used in almost 12 hours. You start getting cold, cold, hot, cold, hot. You start sneezing a lot, nose starts running, vomiting. You can't get comfortable. Imagine being physically sick with the flu, just where you don't want to move. Your bones ache, your body aches, your stomach hurts. You just feel like throwing up. You just drained of everything physically. And that's what I'm going to start going through. I'm scared. I just be honest. All right, girl. Come on out. Go ahead and go down there. Not only do I have to deal with being in jail, I have to worry about going through withdrawal. So it's just like a double-edged sword. So just hang out here. 11 o'clock, we'll come and get you, okay? I got to see the judge now and find out what they're going to do. Not only did I violate my probation, I violated my probation with a new felony charge. Best case, they reinstate my probation. Worst case, I'll do two and a half years in prison. Off, wrap up with my towel, put my shoes on your feet. Everything in the bag. Listen to what I'm telling him. You got two things you got to do here right away. You have to get strip searched. Then you're going to go take a shower. There's no talking in this room, and there's no talking in the shower. You got any glasses? Yes, sir. My sister just married this guy. He said something smart to me, and I put a knife to his throat. And Threatened him. Everybody pay attention to what I'm doing to him. I'm going to do it to you. Shake your towel boards. Sit down. Open them up. Shake them out. One in one hand, one in the other. Drop them. Show me your hands, tongue, top and bottom. Go in here. We're going to strip search you. All right, next guy. Kind of sick about it. Stomach's all knotted up. I'm barely in prison. Under your testicles. Turn around, bend over, spread your cheeks. Shower. Next guy. We have to make sure they're not bringing anything in. And we found everything. We found knives and phones, and that's the reason for the strip search. Bend over, spread your cheeks, we'll take a shower. Next guy, maybe it is a grating. If it is, then they might want to stay out of prison the next time. Yeah, it's my first time in prison. It's kind of a shock to, you know, I managed to f up so bad that I'm actually going to prison. Pretty nervous about it. Don't know what to expect. Realize that uh, I do know him, and me and him are, know each other from the streets. He's more of a friend I've known for, you know, 13 years. I'm Greg Bennett. It's my third time in prison. I'm back this time for an escape for cutting my ankle bracelet off while I was on house arrest. Offenders are usually uh, brought to RDC from the county jail for classification purposes. And then once that is done, uh, they're shipped out to their main holding facility. Here we can house the, the worst of the worst. I really hope me and Jamie can be uh, cellmates because I know for his first time going to prison that I'll be able to help him out and um, really just kind of give him some insight on what to expect and what not to do. Ah, oh, man. I don't know about all this, man. One of my best friends always told me, he said, you're going to end up dead or in prison. And you know, I just blew him off. Like, you know, I ain't going. I guess he won that one. Well, life is just about to get really, really hard for you, and you don't even know it yet. Help me! Ah! Ah! This will be the hardest time that you will ever do. We were oh, dude. You know, I hope that I can stay with them. You know, I'm just trying to, you know, get in the water without making any waves, so to speak. For me to be around and go through the process with him, I could help him open his eyes to some of the things he needs to be aware of. Becker, Bennett, 
Come here, you two are bunkies. Oh my God, I know that was a big relief to him. It was a big relief to me. Well, I didn't get stuck with some random ass person in here with the life sentence. I'm skating and doing time together, huh, Greg? That's where I was at the first time. Becker, 121, top. Come on. It's a lot better than having somebody I know from the streets and grew up with as my roommate. Welcome to home, boys. <laughs> Hoping we don't get separated so we can kind of go through this together. Requesting the stop program if a bed opens up, but if not, we'll go to IYC or the farm. The stop program is a short time fenders program. It allows you to utilize a lot of classes and gain a lot of tools that you need to adapt to getting out. The farm is, um, Prison. it's like the hood, man. It's where gang banging is. The whole nine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My twin sister is the one that called the police on me for threatening her husband. He always thought he was some badass, and he said some sideways things to me, and I was drunk. He turned his back to me and grabbed the knife, put it to his throat, and threatened him. Drink is my main cause of problem. I've lost three houses, four cars, relationships, marriages, you know, all that stuff due to drinking. Definitely an alcoholic. People that know me and grew up with me or, you know, close social friends, they don't want nothing to do with me. Okay. We're going to complete your initial classification this afternoon. What's your marital status? Divorced. Okay, number of children? One. Why'd you cut your band? I cut it because I completely relapsed in every way, shape, and form. Now, official version of your offense uh, basically says you place a knife against the victim's throat and threaten to kill him. Anything you want to add to that, or? No, sir. Not really? Okay. Here are your choices. Down in the Southern Park, where you're from, you have Branchville. You can have State Farm. IYC stops also an issue, a uh, place you can go. I told Jamie to at least try to request the stop program. You know, it would be a big difference for him. What about the stop program? Am I eligible for that? It appears you have a pending charge in Illinois. It's a DUI. Yeah, I thought that was taken care of. Uh, apparently not. They indicated it wasn't, and you may possibly have a warrant, so. They won't take you over there and stop if you have a pending case. You are uh, finished with your classification. Any other questions? No, sir. OK, good luck to you. Uh, this was a shock. Kind of blindsided me a little bit, kind of hurt. So they just let me know I'm not eligible for the stop program. What the Dude, apparently I got a bunch of warrants in Illinois. So I'm not eligible for stop or CTP. Bad news if I push them over the edge, you know. It's a lot of stress for someone to handle when they are going through this process. If I was to be able to go where he was going, I'd definitely go. So me and him could do this together. It's just never one good thing ever. Just one, give me your one good thing. Looking for Craig Knapper. Craig Knapper? Yes. Craig Knapper. Craig Knapper. Step out here. They've been giving me shots for the heroin. I'm gonna give you some medicine. Finally to take away some of the pain. The judge, they haven't gave me new charges yet. So it's just a probation violation with a bond of $1,800 she gave me. Let me understand the bond here. If I have my bond's $1,800. If my dad came down to the jail and paid $180 to the clerk. No, you have to go through a bondsman to do that, okay? So they either you want collateral plus some money, something that they could actually take from you, like a house, a car, or something like that. So They actually have to hold the car or they have to take the title? No, they have to sign it over. In other words, they don't take the car. But they will if you forfeit your bond, yes. Okay. Yeah, so okay. whoever's putting it up, make sure you don't. No, yeah, I'm going to, I need to call somewhere, though. Uh, my name's Craig Knapper. I was just calling. I needed to uh, find out what your guys' policy was, like what you guys, how did you go about doing bail bonds? Okay, so my bond's 1800 You need 180 bucks up front. 
Just 180. Would there be any way you could make a phone call for me? Uh, go ahead and call my dad. We will put up his car probably. He's got a Mustang, so we'll just probably put up the title. He said he called my dad. He said he gets off in an hour and a half. He's going to come up with the money, and he'll get me out. Getting bailed the f out of here. No, they didn't bail me out. I bailed myself out. <laughs> I just got off the phone with the bail bonds company. I was like, all right, come down, bail me out. I got the cash in my wallet. We'll go to my house. I'll get the title of my car. <laughs> when you're around other people in jail, you got to act a certain way, carry yourself a certain way, because they prey on the weak. All right, what's going to happen now is if you're not able to post your bond relatively soon, we'll get you moved out to another facility. I'll be bailed out within the next hour. You think so? OK. Well, yeah, my dad will be off work in an hour. So. All right, do you have any other questions? No, that's it. Thank you very much. All right, much. sir. Thank you. Inmate Napper has now been classified. He is evidently going to Durango. I mean, they can tell us all day long, yeah, I'm getting bonded out. We can't stop the process, because if we did that, we'd have hundreds of people in here for hours and hours and hours. Just keep facing the wall. My dad said he was going to do what he said he was going to do, but it hasn't gone through yet. I know it takes time, so I mean, I have no idea. I didn't talk to him personally. Durango is one of the oldest jails that we have. It houses the minimum security inmates. I think it's frightening just because of the environment. Never dealt with anything like this before, so I don't know. You have no idea until you actually are face to face with it. I'm going to Durango. It's not something that I'm looking forward to. It's even scarier than this place. Use the phone, dude. If you can use the phone, use it right now. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hi, Mom. Yeah, in Orange County Jail right now. I got arrested yesterday. I still haven't heard anything on my court date. I don't know what time it is. All I know is it's supposed to be it tomorrow. Have you talked to anybody? And my mom told me that I got into a fight with my cousin. I punched a light on a wall. I didn't even know that I had gotten into a fight or that my cousin got hurt. I didn't know any of that until I talked to my mom. I need, I need them, I need them at my court date. It's the only way I can have a chance of getting this dropped. I love you. I really need you to get a hold of them. I'll see you soon. All right. said that I freaked out and nobody knows why. We were fine drinking, having a good time, and then I started arguing with my girlfriend, yelling at her, calling her names. And when my cousin came out and told me to calm down, I charged him hit him and threw him on the ground. That's also not a good feeling, knowing that I hurt somebody and I didn't even know it. I'm on vacation with here from Washington, right? It's just visiting vacation and visiting the jail instead. My dad was supposed to be off work at 1.30 to 2, and he was going to get the money and go out there. I have no idea what's going on. I need Solis, Daniel, Fuller, Sager, Shaw, Rodriguez, Napper, Mendoza. You guys all going to 8. Let's go. One line. Durango 8. Stop 
Call your name. Alfred? Yeah. One's right there. Put up your face. Yes. I get the favor. first arrive to uh, the facilities, you'll have these uh, racially designated leaders, if you will, that will make up their own roles. Uh, the inmates do get brought around, they get shown what to do, where they can go. That's how they maintain their interior social dynamics. Common sense, respect all DOs, respect all the nurses, the heads, uh, other races. Don't, don't be mocking the DOs, don't be listening to the DOs, all that, all that stuff. Shower and brush your teeth every day, regardless. Bathrooms, do not urinate in the toilets and don't in the fissures, okay? You know what I'm saying? These rules are not authorized by the county and the inmates will follow those rules or they'll be beaten up in a bathroom. Common sense, bro. Just do your business. Common sense, you're here to do time and that's all you want to do. Right on, don't, don't cause no problems. Appreciate it, right on, bro. Obviously, my dad knows I'm here. I talked to the bail bonds person. They talked to him. I don't know where he's at, though. I'm not out of here yet, so... I don't know. Did you show him our lovely view? With razor wire and all, it's tight. Can we say hepatitis? Well, this is in case you get in trouble or your bunkie starts attacking you because he has two life sentences and you got six months left. You would always be honored to hit that button and tell him, Help. man down. Man down. Every time this door closes, it's a reality check. Feels like it's every two minutes, it's just four minutes back. Just time just goes slow. It's really important that me and him kind of go to the same prison because you know me and him are supportive with each other. The trust is there. Check. You're not for sure that's mate. Damn, man. Tell what you did for spare time in the county jail. Yeah. Whoop everybody's ass at everything. What does that say? We signed each other. Instead of yelling under the door. That's only our county jail. Anybody knows we're from our county jail. Yeah, it's just a sign Side though. Nobody side. knows what we're talking about. I guess. I guess. What'd he say? What'd he say? A couple letters are different than that. Average to throw off correctional officers. We'd let you in on the inside scoop, but our county jail would probably uh, kill us when we came back. It's worrying me not to be together anymore. Don't know what to expect. Pretty nervous right now. We wanna go check and make sure we have all these bodies down here prior to the loading. Whitman. Uh, I'm waiting to go to court. Kind of nervous. Uh, I've just been getting mixed opinions from people that I talk to in here about it. I've had people, oh, you know, you're fine, you're from out of state, you're gonna go home. And I've had other people, oh, you got a felony. Out here in California, they don't like the domestic violence and like that. I don't know anything out here. I'm trying to get this reduced or dropped so that I can go home. I'd like to get like a fine or something. Like, I know I don't want no felony on my record. Well, that's what the DB is out here. It's a felony. Every second I'm here is just killing me. I hate it here. They 
read out what had happened, pretty much my jaw just dropped. I found out that my domestic violence isn't against me and my cousin. It's on my girlfriend and me. They said that I grabbed her by the throat, I choked her and slammed her against the wall. And that's how I got the domestic violence charge. But I don't remember doing it. Growing up, I was always raised, you don't hit women, you don't touch women, and you're a piece of shit if you do. And it hurts knowing that I hurt her. I've known her since high school, like she's always been with me, you know. She's amazing. <laughs> I'm worried that she's not gonna talk to me when I get out of here. Cause she's, she's really everything to me. If I don't have her, then I might as well just stay in here. Because it don't matter. It don't matter at all. easy, especially in jail. I mean, yeah, the body withdrawals were still there, but it wasn't as bad as I anticipated it to be. I thought it would be horrible. They've been giving me medicine, so. Still trying to get bailed out. Talk to the bail bonds person. My dad has to get the collateral. He's got to get his title on his car, I guess. But I just want to talk to my parents, though. you know what I mean? I just don't want to have a communication. I can't, can't even talk to them. None of the phones here at work. It kills me every day that I can't talk to my parents or my brother, just to see how their day's going or something like that, you know? It's not even about me. It's about them. That's all I care about. Hey, you wanna play some hearts, bro? What do you guys play? Hearts, you know how to play? Uh, I don't know. You play hearts? Hearts. Someone's gotta play some hearts, man. <laughs> Nobody else plays hearts in this place? My name is Jason Ginn. I'm the head of the Woods. The Woods is basically the, the white race. Each race has their own heads and their own council. Hey, go. What's up? Basically, as the heads, we try to maintain order. Anytime there's something that needs to be disciplined, basically this whole place has got cameras, so anytime we need to handle anything, it gets taken care of in the bathrooms. When you, uh, when you came in here, you read the rules, mm -hmm. and you understand that the number one rule is no disrespect. I was told yesterday that you disrespected the head of the Pisces, but you said you don't know who the f you're talking to. Are you a chumbo or what? I didn't, I didn't mean it in a disrespectful way to him. Well, regardless, so. regardless how you meant it, we take, a, we take disrespect real serious Yeah, here. I understand. If you guys feel like I deserve bunk restriction, then Well, no, you're going to get a chin check. It. You're going to get a chin That's check. That's what I meant. Chin check is basically one of the torpedoes goes in. It's just real quick. Bird broke his hand day before yesterday. I hit him too hard. Doing his job. Yeah, <laughs> you know? You bring him into the back corner over here, set him against the wall, and you just... Wow, right here? You usually anywhere here, you know? I didn't mean to disrespect anybody. I'm not here. We don't want to see any of our race, uh, you know, get hurt, but we gotta, we gotta maintain some authority and we gotta maintain some some, uh, some certain basic yeah, rules. fundamental rules. Yeah. Understandable. It gets pretty ugly, you know? People's teeth get chipped. It's not really pretty. I mean, I don't enjoy doing it. But when people break the rules, you, you, you gotta, we gotta do what we gotta do to keep the peace in here. Just your one warning, though. Okay. Yeah, I, like I said, I didn't mean any disrespect and pretty good. You guys pulled in. I know that you guys, this is, your, this is not your job, but this is, you know, part of it. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. So I, I understand, man. We 
on, dude. We just kind of let it slide, you know, because he didn't really, he didn't know the rules, he didn't know what was going on. We let him know, though, you know, you already had your one warning, now all the rules have been read to you, so the next time, you know. He also, he manned up, he took it, he manned up. He said he was ready. He said he was ready if he needed to go in there. That carried some weight with me, so we're not going to let him off on a warning, but, and I'm confident he won't have a problem anymore. What was Jason any rules Apparently, when I came in, I disrespected somebody or something. Oh, you yeah. Didn't you no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of nothing. I ain't scared of nothing. I don't give a Last night, me and Greg were sitting here. They rolled the doors, said 121 bottom, pack your stuff up, you're uh, riding out tonight. He was pretty sick about it, I was sick about it. I don't know why, but I was thinking maybe we're going to the same prison, and then he just walked out and left. And now that he's gone, uh, it's just, I'm in here, you know, Eight by twelve with a you know, nothing really. No one to talk to, no one to joke with. I don't have a buddy anymore, man. It's like I don't have someone watching my back. I see. How long you got? Six, Six months. months. I knew if like if we were going to chow hall and if somebody has a problem with me and I get I get jumped, I know like, he's he'll take half an ass whooping too. Got a few days left. Yeah. You only got a few days yeah. left? Yeah, more yeah. Than now it's Fend for yourself. I don't know anybody in here. I don't trust anybody in here. They don't know me. They don't trust me. So it's kind of on your toes more when you go to child, kind of make sure my back's to the wall. You know, just don't want to really turn my back to anybody I'm not sure of. What? You got a piece on your back, too? Uh, yeah. Is it in color? What's that? Is it in color? Nah. Some of these people, they got nothing to lose. But stabbing somebody, getting an extra two years on their sins, and you got 30, I don't really don't mean to them. Go ahead, roll seven. Roll seven, please. Today is Thursday, and I was gonna fly home Sunday. It sucks. I'm ready to go home, for sure. Hello? Hi, hey, Mom. Not good. I need you to get me the f out of here. They're trying to give me 30 days with a bunch of fines and a bunch of classes. So I didn't, I didn't take the deal. I got a court appointed attorney and I got my bail reduced to $10,000. So it's $1,000 to get me out. And I need you to get me out of here. Like I need you to. There are, there are bail bondsmen around here that take payment plans. I will come home and I will pay you back. I need to get the out of here. Not even on a payment plan? You've been here for five years, bro. Do you know how? You don't understand what it's like here, Mom. You need to get me the out of here. Get me out of here, please. Hello? Mom? Hello? 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 Mom? I lost her. She just doesn't have money. She would bail me out, but she don't have the money for it. If they want me home, probably just as bad as I want to go home. I want to go and see my girl, but I can't. I don't really know what to do right now.
emotionally, I'm just I'm really stressed out about a lot of things. You know, I'm a grown man, I'm 25 years old. People tell you when to go to the bathroom, when to take a shower, when you can eat, when you can't eat. You know, when you have to go to bed, when you can be on your bunk, when you can't be on your bunk. I mean, it's just, it's degrading. It's like kindergarten for grown-ups. I still haven't talked to anybody. I try the phones every day, but I can't call anybody. I'd love to talk to my dad or my mom, and just pretty much everyone in there talks to their family. And I see everyone on the phone talking and stuff, and I, you know, I want to be just like that. I want to talk to my parents too. I'm, but uh, it's just not in the cards for me right now. I had a pretty low bond, but just not low enough, I guess. Yeah, now you get a visit. Want to visit? What? Thank you. This morning, I have to work tonight. What's going on? How you doing? I'm good. I'm here. Everybody says hi. Your mom says hi. She knows I'm here. Yeah, yeah, she knows you're here. Yeah. Oh, she found that online. She saw your picture online. What? You know she's always going to check that. So. Oh, my God. You know? Check and see if I'm in jail. She, no, she just checks it all the time, just to make sure, just to see who, you know how she is. Oh, God. I know being an addict and using drugs, I'll never be to see my mom if I choose this life, you know? That'll be something I'll have to give up if I continue to do the way I do. Because I'll never be able to see her. She'll never, ever come see me like this. You know, I mean, I sat the other night and just cried my eyes out. And I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe, maybe God's trying to tell me something. I don't know. Yeah, I think. I'm there for him. I mean, I'll find him a place like I did before, you know? I mean, I spent every, every dime I had on it. You know, to help him out. It's not your responsibility anymore. Well, you know, I have to do it. You're my son. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> it's not their fault because, you know, they, they gave me everything that I could have asked for. This is just an obstacle. You, know, you have to get on your own. But she just don't want to see it like this. I know, dude. and I don't want to see myself like this. And she's I'm tired, like, and she's tired of it. She just, she wants you to get your life in order. You gotta set yourself straight. Right? Yeah, I know. And how many times have I told you that? Yeah, I know, but it's how many times have I told you that? You're 25 years old, dude. I know. And you have to do this. You have to want to do this. I do. I. You know, just want to be here. Been out, I hate it. I don't. I don't want to see him handcuffed to a table. I mean, I was in jail when I was 17 one time, and my mom made me sit there. And I tell you what, that taught me a lesson. You have to go to court tomorrow? Tomorrow at 11 o'clock. On my birthday. Yeah, cool. yeah. That's all right. Happy then. birthday. Yeah, right. Happy birthday. Happy no, birthday. I'll be OK, Dad. Thanks. Thanks. All right, guys. Thanks, man. I feel great now that knowing that he's OK. I mean, I know where he's at. He's not, you know, um, doing anything he's not supposed to be doing. And I think this has got his attention. I really do. I think it's got his attention. And we'll just pray for the best. That's all I can do right now. And we'll wait till tomorrow and see what the judge says. It's all in his hands anyway. You know? All right. I'm just nervous for the worst. You know, something bad happens. And God forbid I got to be here for six months a year. Term six alleges you violated probation by failing to report as directed. Do you admit or deny that allegation? I admit. In the defense, admissions accepted and entered a record. The court finds the defendant to be in violation of his probation. Mr. Knapper, anything you'd like to say? Yes, Your Honor. Um, I just want to say that I take full responsibility for this actions in this case, um, but I just would like them to know that I'm trying very, very hard to change my life. So thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, Mr. Scanlon, any legal cause? No legal cause, Your Honor. All right, because of his young age, his limited criminal history, this is his first petition. I think he can continue to benefit from the services of probation. I'm going to reinstate him to three years of standard supervised probation. As a punitive sanction for his violation, I'm going to order he be incarcerated in the county jail for one month beginning today. You understand all that? Yes, Your Honor. All right, good luck to you. We're going to have you step over and see our bailiffs, please. Thank, Thank you, Your Honor. All right, Craig, see the bailiff. He'll help you with your papers. Good luck. Like, it might be a blessing. It's saving my life. I mean, it, that's bottom line because heroin's bad. It's really addictive. It's only a matter of time you do one time wrong and 
you're not going to wake up again. The way I was before, it could have been any day. It's been a long time since I've been able to say that I can actually feel normal again without using the drug or anything like that. So it's good in that aspect, but you know, it's jail. Good luck to you, sir. Whitman's uh, being transferred to the farm. It's our uh, minimum security jail. He will be there until his next court date, and that's where he'll spend the remainder of his time. It's kind of nice to be back in my clothes. It almost makes me feel like I'm going home until I remember the fact that I'm going to the farm. Been talking to people, they said that no matter what, they're going to try and hit me with the 30 days, so it'd be better to just stay in and get time served. But I really don't know if I want to, you know? I miss my family. Best cell? All the way down. All the way down? Yep. Uh, I'm not coming back to jail. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure, but I just need to go back to not drinking again and I'll be fine. It's not that important. It's definitely not worth this. Open 121, please. Yeah. All right. About to head out, man. It's been a learning experience. Definitely something I've never had to go through before. Something I never want to go through again, that's for sure. It's definitely an eerie feeling. Something I don't think uh, I wouldn't want anybody else to go through. Take your shirt off. The white one? Yes, sir. I got five months left, so... Grab your boxers by the waist, shake them out. I just got to get through, not get in any trouble. I just have to mind my, uh, what I was taught and kick it straight. It's kind of nervous. I'm worried about Jamie for the most part because it's, you know, he could fall victim to a lot of, I guess, predators, you know, fights, owing money, people manipulating, knowing that he's uh, new to the prison. It's just, it's devastating for the most part, because I know uh, he's going to be like a fish out of water, wishing the best. Clashes with British. Five ammunition again. Deserve to get shot. Have a nice day, Bye, Mom. Air strikes on rebel position. We are going to stay. Tablet. Go.